We have like almost nothing left except for uh, the hardest characters that have ever been concocted in the world of the Binding of Isaac. We do have a four win streak going right now, despite only having those hard characters. Um, but you know what? It, it is what it is. I think we're going to farm some Tainted Lost Dark Path Mega Satan. Let's give it a try. Tainted Lost Dark Path Mega Satan. Nothing left to lose but Samson's Chains. There you go. <laughs> Now that's a good item. That's the thing about uh, Tainted Lost. They only get good items like Lil Loki. Did you see that Disney Plus has a, uh, a Loki Simpsons crossover coming out? W what? Oh no, my streak. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I just saw it. I, I think JP tweeted it. And he, I think he tweeted, what? And I've kind of had the same uh, idea, which is, what the heck is uh, is the Simpsons Loki crossover going to look like? Okay, that's fair. I got a little aggressive. I got a little aggressive on that one. You might be wondering, why don't you use the holy card? I've talked to uh, Ad Nauseam before. Uh, <sighs> about my uh, my principle for not using the holy card early. I feel like the chance of getting uh, a blank card in your first or second shop warrants try what the heck is that? <laughs> warrants trying to use it uh, as a blank card enabler uh, enabler later. Full health and it made a cool sound. All right. Only good items. Only good items. It also made you gulp? I don't know. I think I just unlocked that, like, the other day. It's a, I think it's a Tainted Eve unlock. There's... I, dude, I, I can't believe I'm still coming across so much new stuff in this game. Uh, coupon is really good for me to coupon. If we can maybe get to our secret room... Which should be right here. That hurts. Life goes on, but... That was so good. What, the Fermita coupon? Note to self. Jokes at VTubers expense. Minus twos for days. The word coupon sounds like the phrase poupon. Plus twos coming out of your whatever. Okay, that was totally fine. Um, well, we're not going to be able to get the coupon, so we will instead just leave. Easy enough. Coupon poupon is like a plus five for me. <laughs> The words do sound similar. So I'm not ignoring this question, okay? I just don't know the answer um, of which album has better skits, late registration or college dropout. Because I, you know, I remember that on late registration, it's like, you know, the, the broke fraternity or whatever. Oh, come on, man. Every time. Uh... But after, like, the first couple of times you listen to the album, all you do is skip them no matter what. The one thing that, that annoys me uh, about uh, rap albums is the skits, man. I get it's part of the, the culture. But even the classic rap albums have, uh, have skits on them. And I'm like, I, I think they're a diluting factor. You don't, it's maybe it's a classic thing. It's not a not in that many modern albums, but even to pimp a butterfly has got some skits on it, man. Worst part of Sir Luscious Left Foot by Big Boy as well is the skits. Sprinkler. Okay. 
also pretty bad. <laughs> well, they, let me rephrase. Sprinkler's not that bad. It's not that good, considering we're tainted lost. I think we gotta. I think we gotta grab this, man. I think. I think it's better right now. I forgot what I was talking about. Rap skits. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I don't... Uh, I'm, I'm on that, like, Google Play Music recommended grind anymore. I don't listen to too many full LPs, but... Uh, luckily, I think the Google Play Music engine and also the... Uh, you know, Spotify Discover and stuff like that, they do a good job of recognizing that just about nobody out there wants to actually hear the skits unless they're listening to the entire album, so... You don't hear him too much. I don't hear that one where, uh... Big Boy documents uh, an, a move in intercourse called the David Blaine with troubling implications. It's, it's a big positive. You only get the slappers. This is going to have a holy card in it. I can tell you that right off the bat. Have you listened to the new... Uh, nailed it. Uh, have you listened to the new Tyler, the Creator album? Let me do you one better. Uh, no. And I haven't even listened to the old Tyler, the Creator album. And I'm talking about like the one from 2011. With uh, Yonkers on it. I've seen the video. Um, I'm not against it, I just, uh, Goblin, yeah, yeah, Goblin, that's it. I'm not against it, I'm just, uh, you know, I, more into the, you know, I'm, I'm still discovering a lot of hip-hop from the 90s, like, there's this, uh, cool song I've been listening to lately, it goes, uh, you, you can get your crew, I can get my crew, we can rendezvous at the bar around two, maybe you've heard of it, it's called, um, Big Papa by Biggie Smalls. A classic. I only recently came to be aware of it. You're not 14 years old. That's true. You you got me on that one. I don't know if that's an insult or a, <laughs> if that's a compliment or if it's just a fact, but you're not wrong. You a big fan of the Mars Volta? The only thing I know about the Mars Volta uh, except for Dan talking about them all the time, is th they have an album called Deloused in the Comatorium that looks like, the album cover looks like a scene from The Modest Mouse. Or, not The Modest Mouse, sorry, The Wild Wild West. Um, and I know the scene from Get Him to the Greek where uh, Jonah Hill's character plays the Mars Volta song and then goes like this. But his, uh, his fiance is like, no, I can't go. I gotta go to, she has, I think she's on call at the hospital or something. I mean, if you haven't seen Get Him to the Greek, that's honestly like your, uh, that's your problem, not my problem. I'm not 14 years old as has been established here. So, you know, it sounds like something that you gotta work out. Look at that, what a play. Yes, that's true. His his fiance is um oh I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> um his fiance is Elizabeth Olsen from Mad Men. I I think you just don't take it and you re you respect the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity on the next floor. We're trying to get angel deals so we can go to Mega Satan. I screwed up my percentage chance though. Sorry, not Elizabeth Olsen, my mistake. Elizabeth uh, Moss. Wrong, uh, wrong cinematic universe. I was thinking of The Handmaiden's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale. It's all connected. It's all true.
<laughs> I don't know if I want to answer the question. Would I smoke a Jeffrey? Um, you know, I, it would have to be in a very specific uh, context. Not not for pleasure. I uh, like just at home in my leisure time. If there was a special event where it was safe, I don't even remember what was in a Jeffrey in in the movie Get Him to the Greek. I feel like it was all the drugs possible. I, I think I would probably still say no, but I would have to evaluate it on a case-by-case -case basis. I do love, like, I don't know what people picture, like, life is like with a newborn. Well, she's not really a newborn anymore. But, you know, she's nine months old. Every once in a while, people will just ask me, like, a ridiculous question. That's like, yo, you made those two edible tweets about, like, those... What, this edible ain't shit 45 minutes later and you're high as a kite. Yo, so like, how often do you take uh, an edible lately? And I'm like, fucking never, dude. I have a baby. Are you insane? It's not even just like, oh, the baby's cramping my style. It's like, you can't take a, a drug that like has an unreliable slow release over several hours when you're in charge of a completely helpless human being. Like, I should have popped the holy card on that one. Like, are you insane? Might mellow you out, dude. Yeah, it sounds super mellow to like eat uh, like a 250 milligram pop brownie, wake up at 3 a.m. to screaming, and then have to like drive to the emergency room because she's got whooping cough. See, it sounds like a great recipe for uh, for lowering your anxiety. He knows. He knows. <laughs> No, okay, that, I, I should have popped the holy card. The reason I didn't pop the holy card is because I wasn't attached to the run. But I, I, I stand by not popping it on the first floor and a half. Just pop it? Bro, I'm telling you. Some runs in this game are not worth saving. If we get something good in our shop, we pop the holy card, and then we get to the chance where maybe there's like a blank card and we're rolling. It's worth the chance. You don't have to win every tainted lost run. You have to win like two tainted lost runs. You, plus, that's true. It's not just the holy card, blank card. You could also get D1. There's all sorts of outs for us here, man. What if I get high and watch you play Repentance? You got a problem with that? I don't want to ruin, like, the vibe you've cultivated for yourself as, like, you know, being a counterculture superstar or whatever. But, like, literally nobody cares if you, you know, smoke a joint and then watch Twitch.tv. Nobody that's under the age of 80 has, like, any opinion on it whatsoever. I honestly, it does it. I, I kind of, sometimes I, I, I struggle with the idea that probably 20% of my monthly income comes from people who are under the influence when they click the subscribe or give subs button. Apart from that, it doesn't factor into my mindset essentially at all. Uh oh, time to find a new personality. <laughs> okay, hey, whoa. That's a li that was from chat. That wasn't me. You shouldn't be saying that. That being said. That being said. <clears throat> did I ask Justin in his chat if he was high? And then when he said a little. Link him to the video of Germa running the Westminster uh, agility course. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. GB bug. Okay, now we're talking. It's a great video, dude. It's it's a it's a fantastic. You just Google that exact phrase, Germo Westminster Dog Show. There's no way it's not gonna be the top result.
And when he does, I don't even know like how he does it. When when he goes through the poles and he goes like, or when he's on the he's on the the seesaw and he's like, oh man, it's so good. Tunnel cam is great as well. It's it's all good, man. It's all good. It is amazing that he's able to run it. I agree, especially because he's like 35, right? Like, I mean, that's getting up there. Especially on this website, where people, their Twitter profile is like, I've been a professional streamer for nine years. Happy 22nd birthday. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Look, that one's for you. I'm, I'm, I'm respecting the holy card this time. You're not wrong. It's very old for a dog, especially. 35 years old? The runs have been a little doo-doo so far, but still, let's 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 take the holy card off the table. Dan was ornery today? Was Dan ornery today or were, were people annoying him? I gotta be honest, it's one of those things where it, it's very hard to get me to not be on the streamer's side whenever people uh, leave a comment, like, streamer was kind of on edge today. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I was in his chat during Tarkov. <laughs> I, can, I can understand why. Also, he was playing Tarkov, so I can understand why. I mean, I got tilted playing FTL. And I, I, that's why, you know, you, you can tell, like, when I'm happy and I'm going to the bathroom, I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave. When I'm, like, super excited to just not be, like, um, ridiculed for three minutes, I'm like, see you soon. And then I just, like, pivot to the overlay and let the music play in the background and, uh, you know, just enjoy the slightest bit of solitude. So, uh, I can relate. No question there. Good item, by the way. Swarm Protector, huh? Better item literally does nothing. Um, excuse me, uh, it contributes towards Beelzebub. Some of you guys don't have your homepage set to the wiki and it shows. Dodge of the century. You will never get this. You don't need to get hit for that one? Mm, then where's my fly? Where's my fly, chat? If I don't need to get hit for that one, where's my fly? Oh, it should be right there. It should be right there, right? Oh, holy card? Hold on. No holy card. It's not necessarily... The sun's okay. Wheel of Fortune's okay. Lovers is useless. Moon is fine. Okay, use the moon card. Pick up the Necronomicon. Check the shop. Hold on. I kind of respect Mama Mega because it buys us a free floor. But it does also lose us the Necronomicon. Which I consider unacceptable. I think this will this will help us out more. Sun lovers, Queen of Hearts. Well, we'll pop the sun. <clears throat> I think we're better off with this. Four room charge is pretty good too. If you had Mama Mega, would you give it up for Necronomicon? Um, well, I would use Mama Mega, go to both secret rooms, and, you know, capture some of the value of, uh, you know, all the rooms and bosses being destroyed, all the rocks being destroyed and stuff like that. Um, then I would take Necronomicon. So the answer is yes. Yes, I would. You only get good items, which is, uh, 
one of the better things about playing as this character is that a lot of the time you think like, oh, it's really hard to like not get hit. Like that's that's a drag. Don't get me wrong, but you do end up being offensively powerful most of the time, which I think is well worth it. Honestly, well worth it. It's so sick how you only get good items. I gotta be honest. Excuse me, it contributes to conjoined. Okay, you got me on that one. However, I am gonna hit you with a literal counterpoint. Conjoined is bad. Wrong? Mm, is I think is right is the thing. Um, counterpoint, so is Beelzebub. Uh, wrong. Restock is insanely great. Restock plus money equals unlimited holy cards. Let me charge this up real quick. I, I, I'll pay three cents for a battery charge. That seems great to me. Then 100% chance of a deal with the devil. I want to see a key. I want to see a key. Absolutely beautiful, cracked gameplay. Don't even need to use Necronomicon here. That won't be necessary. We don't go in there because we're also trying to fight Mega Satan. What you don't know can't hurt you. Blow up this fool. I really just want a key. But if we can't go to the shop, then we can't go to the shop. Okay, invincibility is pretty nice. Static tears is the real... That's the real star of the show here. Now conjoined would be good. <laughs> Last chance. Run home, Charlie! Run home and don't talk to anybody until you get there! Let's go! <laughs> Oh, it's called building a moment, sweetheart. I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you want to do is talk about Donald Rumsfeld. Go to Justin's chat if you want to talk about that. We're gaming. Okay. Don't be afraid. Press the space bar in need if you need to press the space bar don't be afraid to press the space bar this is a room where i do not mind pressing the space bar we can also press the space bar to get out of the curse room how exciting is that I know we're past the topic, but when your daughter is of a legal smoking age, if she comes home high, what are you going to do? Bro, I... It's... That's like, literally, like, we're talking about stuff that's not going to happen until the year, like, 2037 or something, like... Come on, man. We just... This should not be relevant, like, right now. To me, much less to you. It's... I'm not mad. I'm just like... Like, why did the question pop into your head? It's a qu I gotta ask questions to you now. Why did you ask the question? And you're gonna say, like, I was just curious, and then I'm gonna be like, yeah, but where do you think that curiosity comes from? So let's let's dive into that. Why are you so curious about the reaction that I would have to my child coming home after smoking marijuana? I'm just awaiting the answer as we speak. Maybe they had that situation happen to them. They they can type. They managed to do it a minute ago. We don't need to conjecture. You only get good items, by the way.
I will say I don't remember who said it, so this is... <laughs> I can't answer the question. I don't know the answer to that, man. It depends on the context. This... There's no, like, uh, parental guidebook or anything like that, you know? It's, uh... Well, I mean, there literally is, but... I don't know if they have, a, uh, You know, thir 13 plus years from now, if your child comes home after smoking marijuana, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Put her on one of Jeff Bezos' spaceship and send her to Mars. Hi, I'm Kyle. <laughs> Thanks for the, the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. What a dodge! I was glancing the whole time. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send, send her to Venus, actually, because Mar Mars is men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I remember that book. And the the dude who wrote it, he was on TV all the time when I was a kid. He had all this Lego hair. His hair was like pure Lego. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, take me down to the next floor. Like, hold on. Just, it, guy who wrote Men Are From Mars, book uh, is written by John Gray. He no longer has Lego hair, but John Gray, 1995. Images. Man, he's got a lot of books, huh? Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, Mars and Venus in the Bedroom. Men, women, and relationships. What you feel, you can heal. And then, I don't know, for some reason, if you Google John Gray 1995, you also get a lot of results that are um, the poster from the movie Born to be Wild. Which is like uh, a movie, I think, with Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, like, makes friends with an escaped gorilla from the zoo. That's correct. Yeah, I, I saw it. I remember being kind of stoked for that movie. And then, you know, it came out and I was not a huge fan. Oh, hello. Hello. How's it going? It's, it's the baby. It's a very cute outfit. Look at that. Okay, you need to discipline my chat when I send them over to you. They're asking me hypothetical parenting questions, like, from the 2040s. Okay. What, what would you do if uh, weed became federally legal, which we're one step ahead of, and then um, uh, she came home high as an 18-year-old? Okay. That's the question. The question is... What would you do? You yeah, how would you react? You know, I didn't ask that question, but uh, it is, it's cogent, I suppose. I would say, I hope you were doing it responsibly and with the friend that you can trust. See, you know what? That's a great answer. I wish that was my answer. Oh no, what was your answer? Stop asking me weird questions, you weirdo. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> It's okay. We got we got chat good cop, chat bad cop. I will say I watched um a little bit of Druk, also known as Another Round, the uh, best foreign language film winner at the Academy Awards this year, where Mads Mikkelsen, aka Dr. Hannibal Lecter, uh, and his friends engage in a psychological experiment. This is all very good. Um, in order to see if their lives are better when they uh, stay at a blood alcohol level of like, you know, 0.05. Um, and, you know, I'm gonna spoil it for you. It's not a fun-filled uh, romp like The Hangover. I was promised that it would be uh, a fun-filled romp, kind of like a, maybe like a Danish version of The Hangover. Um, that being said, things start to go a little wrong for them. 
But when I was watching the movie, I was like, what if they just stopped <laughs> before, before it got so bad? Like, what if they just, uh, you know, what if they didn't take the experiment too far? Which I guess was the point of the movie? Because, like, for the first third of the movie or something like that, they were doing some pretty good, they were, their lives were improving a little bit. It's only when they decide, like, let's take this to the next level that the negative impacts that everybody could have possibly expected, were, you know, started to seep in. What if they had just uh, stopped when it was reasonable? It could have been a nice feel-good movie. It's still not out here? Yeah, I don't know. It must have been out forever in, like, Denmark because... Uh, it's on the movie channel here. Interesting. Delightful? I think I will take it. What if God was one of us? Absolutely true as well. Hold up though, why didn't you get Crown of Light? Oh, I'd be happy to go back and get Crown of Light if you could just get me like a time machine or something. Um, okay, hold on. I think we, we're gonna forget me now right away. Just a stranger on the bus. Dee da dee da da. Yeah, but why? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, the, the simple answer is I thought it, that this would be better. And I think that that is proven false for sure. But, uh... I mean, it, I, I don't know if that's the answer you expect. The apology video will be making it to YouTube shortly. Has anyone ever heard that sign or that song outside of Bruce Almighty? Yeah. In Austin Powers 2, The Spy Who Shagged Me. When Dr. Evil sings it, that's where he goes. Dee da dee da da. That was a little scary. Hello. <laughs> Okay, have fun, baby. It's not that hot today. It's a little bit more reasonable. Hey, she hit me with a, a cheeky smile. Yeah, the heat wave, I wouldn't say it's over, but it's, it's, we're in the denouement now. Hmm, could use it. I will say, like, every time I sign into Netflix, it goes like, um, popular movies right now, and literally 100% of the time, it has, uh, it has Austin Powers 1, International Man of Mystery, as one of the top movies, like, one of the most popular movies, and I'm like, don't lie to me. That's just a sign that, like, the, the... The machine learning algorithm is like sophisticated enough to serve me what I want to be served, but not sophisticated enough to fabricate a believable lie to get me to watch it. Don't lie to me, Walt. Like it's as, about as sophisticated as the uh, Twitter algorithm that chooses what topics to sort things into. Like my tweet where I said nature is healing because that guy ate a cranberry that should have been a cherry out of the bulk bin at Whole Foods. Um, that people have been linking me to uh, a screenshot where they're like, I, hey, funny tweet. I don't know why that this uh, showed up in the nature topic for me, but... Don't smack talk the Twitter trending guy. He I, he does kind of like shape uh, culture, huh? Now that I think about it. Like how else would I know that it's like uh, Ranboo's birthday? I do, I love the idea that if you uh, reach a certain level of popularity, trending topics makes it look like all of Twitter is wishing you happy birthday simultaneously. Very heavy, like, you did it energy. I, I suppose we should look. 
Because we can get Krampus's head or um, lump of coal. I mean, if we wanted to, I suppose we could take lusty blood and cut our losses, but that's the coward's way out. You did it! Congratulations! I so said yesterday it was like top Twitter trend. Happy birthday, Matthew Mercer! People around the world are wishing Matthew Mercer a happy birthday. And I was like, you know what? I might as well join in on that. Congratulations. I had a lot of a lot of Matthew Mercers showing up in my Twitter feed. I'm not against it for the record. I just hope one day I get to that level. Right, actually that's not true. Obviously I hope for the opposite of that. <laughs> Oh, what? Whoa, 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 This is good. I can live with this. Wow, wow, we wow. Hmm. Almost got me there. You hope people wish you an unhappy birthday? No, more like, um, I... I don't know. Don't per Do not perceive me. I think is what I'm trying to say. It's like I want attention a little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. But I also like wish to not be uh, perceived. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Make a sock account. No, it's not. Like people sometimes they're like make an alt. And I'm like, no, it's like I think I'm... Mm, my, my problem is not, like, uh, that I get too much attention. My problem is that I want zero. So what I don't want to do is make, like, a sock puppet account and then put all my takes on there because I don't want those takes to be known. I'm, I've now, I think I've reached the point where the best thoughts that I have, I only share uh, via the oral tradition. I no longer... Why am I getting this? I no longer wish for them to be in the wild. They don't deserve it. They've they've proven that time and time again. I think that the the more access that we as a species have to information, the worse things get, which is bizarre. But um, so now, I I keep my good thoughts um, mostly to just myself and my family. And uh, on Twitter, I just post stuff about like the grocery store, and and it appears to be doing okay. What if you made an alt and it became as popular as your current presence? Is this a Black Mirror episode? What if you worked two full-time jobs and your mom was an Apple iPhone 5? The fool? We could do true ending. We, we could always pivot back to true ending, on the other hand. <laughs> oh, we did just get a double holy card, so in my world, this is uh, send it. That's a big get. That's so two holy cards in a row is like a 1% incidence. Holy bursh. Okay. Let's hit that item room first. Do you think true ending is easier than Mega Satan? I think it depends. I, I think they're both tough. Um, and there's there's certain... I mean, this is a cop-out answer. I think there's certain things that make uh, the beast tougher. And certain parameters, even. Like, like Tainted Lost? I don't know. I, feel, I, I don't have an answer for it. The end. <laughs> they're, both, they're both hard. As Tainted Lost, because, you know, you suffer... F the, every boss is hard as Tainted Lost, because if you get hit once, there's a good chance you're toasted, right? Mega Satan is just annoying. I mean, Mega Satan and the Beast, I guess, are pretty similar, because they're, they're both annoying because of the minions and the length of the fight more than anything else. 
It's I think it's easier to get through home and then fight the beast. We can't uh I mean honestly I think I'm I'm happy with my current providers. Delirium is is hell. The fight just like it doesn't even make sense. I was talking about it in in a video where I was like I, I think I've fought this guy like 250 times. I have no idea what you do. You know? Like I, I I don't I don't have any tactic for the fight except have a lot of HP. That's literally the only thing. So I don't know what I'm going to do as tainted lost when we get there, but I may roll shears by the way. Shears pretty good. But I do also like uh I mean 21 luck is good, but 11 luck Plus, Shears is also probably good. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the Delirium spawns Larry Jr. And then you just, like, uh, Pog out of your gourd. That makes a 4.5 volt good damage. And then, like, an invincibility item could do it as well. No, no problem. Okay, this is, like, you use this instantaneously. Because you can telefrag me. That was my own fault. As much as I hate to admit it, if I had landed that brimstone shot before canceling it accidentally, we wouldn't have had uh, we wouldn't have been hit there. Okay. I think the the win condition here is restock holy card again. Left a trinket behind? Yeah, but I I don't think I'm going to do true ending. I think I'm gonna do Dark Side Mega Satan if I get the chance here. That Ghost Pepper would always be a welcome addition. Especially when you have perfection. You know this character is hated when NL talks about the game. I actually... Oh, that hurt. I should have been... I, I think I did most things right there. I should have just been faster, forehead. Um, tainted Lost? Not hated. Or not not hated, I should say. I think Tainted Lost is... I, I actually like Tainted Lost. Of all the characters I have remaining... I, tainted Lost is my favorite by far, which is why I am playing as them most often. But I'm talking about the game because it's the only way to derail the uh, <laughs> weird parenting discussions and pseudo arguments uh, that have been happening in chat ever since FTL today. So uh, even I'm willing to land on a grenade and, and pop my helmet on it or my Captain America vibranium shield and talk about the game a little bit just to uh, just to derail that. Kept up with Euros at all? Only, uh, only via Twitter throughout the week. On the weekend, occasionally, I'll, I'll, I'll catch the games. You know, I, I don't really actively watch them, but sometimes I'm in the living room on baby duty. There's nothing else to watch, but, uh, I, I've seen the results. It's like a great year for neutral fans, right? There's lots of, lots of goals, lots of upsets. Odds, man. <laughs> We're back. That's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. Team Melt sends his regards. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We do still have to do Tainted Eden as well, but it's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you feel about cooking streams, and are you likely to ever do one? 
Uh, I'm for, like, literally any content that is not just video gaming. I think we're in, like, a, a cool era on Twitch right now where some of the biggest channels... And I'm not talking about hot tub ASMR, you know, ear mic stuff, but let's get ahead of that regardless. But I feel like a lot of the Twitch channels that are like up at the tippy top are doing like uh, compelling stuff, you know? Schooled is very cool, variety content. Uh, Ludwig's uh, like Jeopardy that he was doing yesterday. yesterday. I, I apparently have lost the ability to speak English. Like, it's, it's very neat stuff. That stuff I'm into. Oh, frick. I got nothing against a cooking stream. Um, I don't really watch them, because most of the time... I mean, the, the reason I consume cooking content is mostly... It does matter. We have to take dark side here. Um, is mostly to get, like, a recipe. And I find that, like most cooking streams, it takes two hours to cook a 20-minute dish, which is fine. It's the platform. And I would very... I'd consider myself highly unlikely to ever do one myself. Mostly, like... I feel like the setup is kind of uh, prohibitive. Also, like, cooking is like a de-stress uh, enabler for me. We, we could take this now. What about contract from below double holy cards? Like, one of the reasons that, like, I, I, I'm so happy we're off, like, this HelloFresh train is that I can, like, cook for myself and cook what I want on any given night. And I find it kind of, like, meditative. I think that, like... Throwing uh, a little streaming in on top of that would, would probably compromise uh, the enjoyment there, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> I think an IRL stream in public, I've been like very negative about IRL streaming in the past, but I honestly think that I threw the baby out with the bathwater. One of the reasons I was annoyed with IRL streams in public is because of the fact that like so many of the super popular ones seem to be like you know, spoiled people in their early 20s just causing a scene at restaurants and ruining the day for the people around them in public. And you realize, like, that's kind of, like, what it was. <laughs> that doesn't mean, like, if you were to stream IRL content that you have to do it that way. And even if they make IRL content now, they probably wouldn't do it that way. It's just a product of, you know, like, where they were at in their lives at that point. Um... Or maybe not, I don't know. But like, I see some some cool IRL stuff lately. I don't know if I would ever do it myself, but it's, you know, it's an option maybe. As long as you're not doing like text-to-speech donations and like getting wasted and annoying people in public, I think it's, uh, I think it can be totally fine. It does seem like that that's kind of like where Twitch is moving. And I don't mean like as a platform, like like from the top down, but like from the bottom up. Feels like the, you know, the streamers who got popular playing video games are now moving. Like the the next stage of that evolution is like uh, moving into a compound together somewhere in a tax friendly state in the U.S. and then like. That opens up all sorts of emergent content that comes from that, you know? You can just hang out. You can play Pictionary and other board games. You can facilitate... It's like the Creature's House, like 2.0. Okay. Scarred Womb 1. Let's give it a try. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not owned. Not yet. We already saw our deal with the devil. I would rather not see it. And we get Pageant Boy. Not, not a top tier item. <laughs> Still going though. <clears throat> I 
But yeah, I think that's... I don't know. I don't really have plans to do, like, non-gaming content. Because gaming content is, like... I, you really can't ask for, like, easier duties, you know? Especially if you're going live playing, like, the same day, day in and day out. Um, like, the, the setup time is, is literally, like, zero. Um, but I, I do, I, I think that Twitch is kind of moving in a, in a less gamey direction. And I actually think, though I know, understand this will annoy some gamers, I think it's a good thing if it goes, like, you know, from 99% gaming, 1% other stuff, to, like, 80-20. Because, you know, you're watching these people because you like their personalities a lot of the time. Or because you hate their personalities is another one I've recently become aware of. But, um... You, to see them not exclusively playing digital golf games, I think, is compelling for a lot of people. But it probably wouldn't be um, just going out to a restaurant. And then... Uh, being asked, like, over and over what your thoughts on cannabis are. It'd be something different. <laughs> you wouldn't re-roll your whole run. Coward. I don't know. I like let me let me see if we get a deal with the devil here. For now, I mean, we could die before it happens. That's that's the risk you take. But I'm I'm willing to give it a try here. I just want to before I reroll, I'd like to know what I'm giving up on the uh, on the guaranteed end here. I don't even I'm not compelled into thinking that it's the right idea to begin with. Immaculate Heart's helping us out a lot. I mean, we got ten damage. That's a considerable amount. Could we beat Shoal like this? I, I think absolutely. Uh oh. That was scary. Um, could we beat Mega Satan like this? I'd, I'd like to have a holy card. <laughs> um, could we roll into Sci Fly? Astute observation. We could also re roll into uh, Garbage, which happens literally all the time. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to donate all this money and hopefully get something good. If I uh, don't get a luck, uh, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna try the reroll. I think I'm 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 not optimistic that our reroll will be better than our current run. But I am optimistic that our current run will lose. Which I think means that we should reroll. I'm just scanning. This seems fine. <laughs> not, not necessarily amazing, but fine. Um, I don't have a holy card. And I don't have Holy Mantle. But it seems okay. It, it, it doesn't seem worse. And if it is worse, it doesn't seem markedly worse. Yeah, I'm a little not stoked about uh, having little Delirium. But except for that, I'm a happy man. I mean, I'd still love a, a holy card one way or the other. <laughs> that that has not changed. This is a room. You can see, man. We oh, what the ah! <laughs> I got I got stun locked by the uh by picking up ringworm and also those enemies are tough to dodge at the best at times but anyway slash marker first run okay